There are four different types of paragraph indents I want to go over, and the paragraph that I want to practice these on is this one right here. Now before I go ahead and apply it to the paragraph, I want to make sure it's just to these lines right here and not the line above or the lines below. So as you recall in an earlier training video, when we come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group and turn on the Show Codes, I want to make sure that all these lines are wrapped naturally and not having a paragraph marker at the end of one of these because then that would be a separate paragraph if there was one right here for the lines up above and not include the line, well, down below. And so all these lines here are tied to that paragraph marker and they're not broken up by another one. So cool. Let's go ahead and deselect that. And you can click anywhere within the paragraph when you want to work with that paragraph's indents. And one way to work with them is by coming up here on the horizontal ruler, which if it's not being displayed, then come up here and click on the View tab, go to the Show group, and check Ruler. And as a side note, in the Views group, I'm in the Print Layout view. Now the four paragraph indents are up here. First off, on the left-hand side, between the gray margin and the white working area on the horizontal ruler for the document. You've got three of them right there, those three little shapes. Hover over the square at the bottom and that's the left indent. Go up to the triangle pointing up, hanging indent, pointing down, first line indent, and then the fourth one over to the right. That's, of course, the right indent. So, with the cursor flashing anywhere within that paragraph, I just have to go ahead and click and drag to the right and it indents the text over from the right. Come over here by the same token, click on the square, because that's the left indent, and drag it and it indents all the lines over from the left. Pretty cool because I've seen a lot of people use this to offset something important, maybe like a quote, that will pull focus. And those are the left and right indents, and then up above that we've got the hanging indent, and it's just like it sounds, hey, do you want the first line to hang? Then go ahead and click on that triangle pointing up and drag over to the right, and it's hanging out. Totally tubular. But if you want to reverse that and have all the lines down below out and the first line in, then that would be a first line indent. So we can go ahead and click and drag a hanging indent in. And you want to make sure that you click and drag on the hanging indent to bring it back to the first line indent, the one up above that, because if you don't, you click on the left indent, then the first line indent is just going to be chased all the way over, and that's not going to work. So make sure you're clicking and dragging on the right one, and in this case it's going to be the hanging indent, the triangle pointing up. There we go, and then click on the one up at the top, first line, click and drag over to the right, and everybody else is hanging out, or more precisely, the first line is indented. Now you can do it that way on the horizontal ruler, or you can come up here on the Home tab to the Paragraph group, you do have your decrease indent, so to decrease what we indented, click on it, and it goes out. Of course, it keeps the first line indent, but overall as a paragraph, it decreased and went out to the left margin here. But if you want to go back, of course, you have the increase indent, and you can click that a couple of times. I'm going to go back and leave it as is. You can do it there if you're on the Home tab, or if you're on the Layout tab, you can get more particular in the paragraph group there, so you can see that the left indent is at a half an inch. The right indent is a half an inch. So how about if I want to do, let me go down, down. Well, there you go. You can see that the right indent is moving out. So it's indented at 0.2 inches. Nice. So you can work it numerically here. Or either on the Layout tab in the Paragraph group, click on the Expandable Dialog box. Or on the Home tab, you got the same Paragraph group. Click on the Expandable Dialog box it opens up the same paragraph window, because down below you've got the indentation area. So you have your left indent, the same dial boxes that we saw on the Layout tab in the Paragraph group, that you can go ahead and increase, decrease, and then you can look down below in the Preview window, see what it looks like before you click Okie Dokie, and if you're okay with that, go ahead and click on it. And then you got something special, which is the first line indent at .44, oh, that's not exact. Let's go ahead and go up to a half inch, or better yet, click inside of it, and go 0.45, and then click Okie Dokie, and it updated it incrementally. I didn't do something drastic. And if you're not on the Home tab or on the Layout tab to click on the expandable dialog box for the paragraph, you can just go ahead and find one of those little paragraph indents, left, hanging, or first, it doesn't matter, or even the right. Just double click on one of those really fast and it opens up the paragraph window. 
So you have your special first line. You can do hanging and see it down in the preview. If it looks good, hanging there, click okie dokie, reverses it. Let's go ahead and double click. Of course, you can go to none. So you can go ahead and make your changes in the paragraph pop up window here and click okie dokie. And the shortcut key for an hanging indent is control T. And then finally, if you've got a hanging indent and you've got like a term over here, and this is the definition, once you've got it hanging, you can go ahead and click to the right of that word. Like if this is something walk. And we'll say this is the term and that's the definition. Let me come down here and do control T again so we can really pop it off. So what you can do is you can go ahead and do something tricksy here. Click after the term after you do your hanging indent, then hit the tab key. Well, okay, we have to hit the delete key to bring it back, but that's a nice little do-it-yourselfer to be able to create a term that stands out with its corresponding definition. Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.